Good morning. Hello. Beautiful people. Um, it's raining. It's raining, man. Interesting. I like it. I like the sound of the rain. It's raining. It's raining a little bit. Hey, I need to tell you something. <laughs> the biggest volcano in Bali is about to erupt. Mount Agung. So, the last few days, they're just like talking about it. Yeah, it hasn't been erupted since like 50 years. Blah, blah, blah. And in the last 36 hours, the, um, the level was raised, like the emergency level was raised twice. So now it's on the highest alarm uh, level possible. 10,000 people have been evacuated. They're um, sitting in shelters waiting for that thing to erupt, so hopefully not. Um, <laughs> nobody knows if it's gonna happen but in the news they said last night it's most likely gonna happen nobody knows when um, if we do we have a problem the airport will be closed the ashes will be the ashes will be the most the biggest problem so I've done a little bit of research and it says like the lava would travel about what was it seven kilometers in 20 days so it's not the fast lava which is good and then but the, the biggest problem is the ashes in the sky so that's very very dangerous when it starts raining it can start it can kill people and it's super unhealthy too of course to breathe in that stuff um what else Currently in Ubud, which is 51 kilometers away from Agung, but that doesn't really mean anything. Once the wind turns around and blows the ashes the way wherever it wants it to blow, then it really doesn't fucking matter where you are. Hmm. Yes, so that's the Saturday news here from Ubud. <laughs> I'm getting ready now for my breakfast. Um, I'm going to that sexual relationship workshop and meeting Claudia after for some branding branding and marketing advice and then I'm going to Django to meet my friends yes that's it I will see you later we're just driving down to Django and this is what I want to show you So here we are, we drove down to Changu. This is my Hello. beautiful friend Claudia. How are you doing? Hey Luna, yeah. just finishing my vlog for today. You have a vlog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need to start publishing these videos. <laughs> There's on a to do list for tomorrow as well, by the way. <laughs> this is new. Well, new information. <laughs> wow. What are you doing? What are you working on? I'm reading your company brief. You're Girls in. kick ass! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! You what? should all join. You should all join, <laughs> all of you. Great. And how was your day? Very good, very productive. Okay. Probably enough for a Saturday, not that productive. But it's Saturday, so it was okay. Okay. Yeah. How was your meeting with your colleague, with your business partner? Sorry. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, just a good one. Okay. It was a very long wait for two hours, two hours and a half. But we talked about a lot of stuff. So he's not in the country, right? So it's like an he's online... He's in Italy. He's in Rome right now. In Rome? Yeah. Okay. He lives there. I mean, he's, he's, he's based. Because yeah. his family is from there. We met in Vietnam. We used to both live there. And what is your business? 
tell, are tell really them. Doing this? Tell them. Yeah, we're doing this. Tell them about you. It's a marketing collective for fashion brands, mainly innovate. We we really care about sustainability and building a better future. So about <laughs> innovation and sustainable ones. We don't help drop shipping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're an Amazon dropshipper, fuck off. <laughs> well, if your product is innovative, maybe. Yeah. Amazing. Luna! Yeah. She hides. She hides, but She's shy. Luna, Luna is working on her moon Luna. Can you see? Ah, nice website. Um, this is really happening. <laughs> this is really happening. Um, hey, I think you should tell us a little bit about the workshop today because I made the introduction, but I haven't explained yet what we learned. What's the main three things you've learned today in the workshop? Well, first of all, I learned that women actually have a penis inside of them, which was kind of a new information. Yeah. And pretty crazy. I learned that I can be feminine, immature, and I need to bring out my masculine sides to get away from the the feminine <coughs> immaturity that I have. Okay. And what was the last thing that I learned? Apparently we learned that soulmates doesn't exist, but I don't really buy that one because I want to believe that still. It's kind of romantic, isn't it? What? It is a bit of Living romance. Living in soulmates? But apparently that's not a thing. No, I think that it's just about timing. You're the, you're the person that don't believe in soulmates. I, I can so give It's just it. about timing. I mean, if you are... You can be like, if you are here, you'll be it's seven fate. or like five people. Fate. Five people. Five people. Five. can match with you. On Tinder. And, you are and he said the term soulmates only arose in the 80s. So if you Google back in like a thing called... What's the name of the tool? The Google... Thing. Um, yeah, like a book search. You can you can browser. see uh, how many times it was used in in books. Yeah, in and general. it only came up in the eighties because the pill came in the sixties, right? And that yeah. disconnected sex from marriage. And after that, the soulmate thing came up. What is that? Yeah, how because, it was because a lot of people were getting divorced. The divorce got uh, legal. And a lot of people got divorced and then the children acted out because of their parents' divorce and they wanted to find the soulmate because oh, they believed in that they didn't want to end up as their parents. Let's quote Paul Coelho now. Important encounters are planned by the souls long before the bodies met. Meet. Because <laughs> we are in Bali. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny doing all that spiritual really really shit. Fun. Yeah. And we saw the video with the girl uh, getting an orgasm from energies. How was that? Kind of like watching porn with a bunch of strangers, but it was interesting. Yeah, and we decided... Oh, so my question was like, maybe the women get really addicted to him if he does this to them. Like, it's really intense orgasms, right? Yeah. Most of the guys, I mean... <laughs> Um, it's a pretty it's, good field to get into. Yeah, so <laughs> it's probably was, really hard to have like good sex after that with someone else. Hey, no. was he attractive? Not to me. Uh, he's not like physically not attractive, but he's got. He had a good personality. Cool, so like, much. Yeah. He was very confident. Yeah. Yeah, he was nice. So I can get it, like that he has. He's single and totally understand why. Like, of course. that's a lot to take on if you date someone like him who knows so much stuff about it and who can, like, do, you know, do all these amazing things to you. It's like, yeah. Whoa, what? You know. Yeah. I guess how you have did you, to how do you feel like to do these things? I don't know. The only information we got about him was actually that he studied <coughs> sexology in in a university in Sydney. And then he did a lot of tantric workshops. Yeah. It was funny the way that he explained the tantric workshops. Because <laughs> he was like, he was just, he was very like humorous. Uh -huh. And he was just explaining about like these tantric um, retreats. 
yeah. where all the women get like flower crowns and they're dancing <laughs> and they're exploring and touching each other and having fun. And then he said like, and then all the men got into like a, an old mining cave yeah. and they just had to like crawl in the like, there was like radioactive things in there still or something. Yeah. yeah. And then they met in a room afterwards and the men were just like all proud and standing there and all the ladies were just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else did you learn there? Um, a lot of stuff. I went to the creativities. You what? You went to the creativities, like facts. Um, the penis thing? So... <laughs> Oh, I, don't, I don't think she heard that. Did you hear it just no, now? No. Okay, so women have actually like... The, the inside of a vagina looks like a, sh a small penis. Oh, a very interesting thing is like... He said when the women take a lot of steroids... Yeah. The clitoris actually grows. And it forms more to like a penis. Yeah. So actually when you look... You, you look at it from the side. Oh, okay. Actually, when you look at it from the side, it looks like a penis. And it just grows when you take steroids. Yeah, to but it was actually the, the clitoris that was not only like a little tip, but when you took the clitoris, it went all the way inside and had like made a triangle yeah. around, uh, around the vagina. Yeah. And then underneath there was these, what was it? The two bone, the two legs. It's yeah, called but there the were two legs, and then there was something underneath. Oh, the the like where pillow. the blood the blood um, flows into, just like when yeah. a penis gets an erection, the blood in a woman. Oh, what was it? I don't remember what it was called. Who's there? Craig. Craig. Hey. Did you just skateboard home? Yeah. Nice. I know. I just went to buy it and then took my. Oh, you did you buy that in the skateboard park next door? No, in like where? There's, skateboard there's like somewhere down the road is a skateboard park, yeah. Cool. What yeah. are you doing? Just video chatting. Okay. You're on camera. Yeah, I'm on camera. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where were we? Smoke while we talk about the women penis. Yeah. 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 Let's but go. But I'm still not understanding how this is working. So you're gonna to publish that somewhere. Yeah, YouTube, you can see yourself in YouTube tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow, depends. Your channel is just about? Just a crew month and maybe chit chat about penises and breath workshops and whatever happens in Ubud, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, things. Breathwork, things. Breath work, penises. <laughs> okay. So let's move to the next section of the house. <laughs> Outside okay. section. Okay, um, I think the story the story is finished for today. Um, thanks, ladies, for the insights, Thank and you. we'll continue tomorrow.